I go out to sea a lot um, on ships to study things like earthquakes and, and tsunami and working together with a big team of people, just super, super fun. I had a question from Bill in Wellington, and he's asking, how can a tsunami be so huge? He also says, I think I find it difficult to understand how the sheer volume of water that is displaced from the original area can be such a large amount and how far inland it seems to be able to go. So tsunami are basically generated large due to a sort of a sudden displacement of the seafloor, sudden displacement of the seabed. Most commonly this happens in earthquakes. That's where most of our tsunami are generated, but this can also happen when we have submarine landslides and volcanic activity. Those can also displace large portions of the seabed and generate tsunami. Um, I'll focus a little bit on earthquakes. In earthquakes, you can have hundreds of kilometers long area, maybe even up to a thousand kilometer long area um, displaced. And so in the really big earthquakes, you might be getting up to, up to maybe a hundred cubic kilometers of water, of water column that's being displaced. And out in the deep ocean where some, many of these tsunamis are generated, you know, in, in deep water, you know, the, the waves might be very small and maybe less than a foot but the wavelength of the wave can actually be very wide, like more like 100 kilometers or so. So if you're out in a boat in the ocean, you wouldn't even know this wave probably was passing underneath you. However, things really start to get real when we get closer to the coastline and you get into shallow water. And so as that wave comes into the shallower water, everything kind of scrunches up together and piles up and you get a much, much higher wave that then ends up you know, inundating your coastline and you know as many people have seen photos and videos of this this type of thing happening so what really controls how far inland a tsunami goes it's going to be very dependent on on the shape of the seabed beneath the ocean near the coastline that's going to really influence how that that tsunami wave builds up and and comes in also the shape of the coastline and also the topography so if you have a long flat land area going inland from the coast then your your water can potentially travel further inland, as opposed to where if you have a very steep coastline, it's not you know, going to be able to travel as far inland. So I hope that answers your question. Um, thanks for asking such a good question.